So the Texas Longhorns have officially announced that Quinn Ewers will be the starting quarterback heading into next year. And this means that the Texas is going to have another year of mediocrity. I am letting every single Texas Longhorn fan and anybody who is interested in Quinn Ewers, I'm letting you guys all know he is not the quarterback that everybody seems to have him painted as. Quinn Ewers is the direct result of what happens when you try and have lightning strike twice. Ever since Patrick Mahomes turned himself from an unknown three-star quarterback into the Super Bowl winning MVP quarterback that we see now, every single team has just tried to find some big armed, big arm talented quarterback that can make every single throw. But you see, the problem is, is Patrick Mahomes is more than just a big arm. Because you see, while Patrick Mahomes might have one of the greatest arm talents that we've ever seen hands down in the NFL, he also has a great understanding of the offense there in Kansas City. And he does a pretty good job of controlling the football and you don't really see him throwing a ton of picks year in and year out. But nobody ever focuses on that. Everybody only focuses on the big arm. And I'm letting everybody know right now, the fact that Steve Sarkeesian and the Texas Longhorns have chosen to go with Quinn Ewers over Hudson Card, who clearly, very, very clearly was playing way better than Quinn Ewers was, I'm telling y'all, it's going to be another rough year for the Texas Longhorns. Steve Sarkeesian really backed himself into a corner, investing so much into Quinn Ewers. Yes, Hudson Carr didn't do the greatest job for himself last year, not even being able to stay as the team starter throughout the season with Casey Thompson having to come in and be the Texas Longhorns starter for the back half of the year. However, Hudson Card made a ton of progress this offseason. And to me, at, go back and watch the Texas spring game. I'm like Hudson Card through and through any level of the game was playing better than Quinn Ewers was. I mean, just last week, Steve Sarkeesian said himself that the difference between Hudson Card and Quinn Ewers was not as big as everybody thought. And so everybody was thinking, man, does Hudson Card have a real shot of being Texas's starting quarterback heading into next year? And you see, this is one of the biggest downfalls that we're going to be seeing in this new NIL era that we are in. When you put this much money behind unproven players and then they don't pan out, you almost feel obligated to just put them in a position that they're not supposed to be in simply that you just don't look foolish for putting so much behind the player. I want to read you guys a quote from Glenn Smith, one of the Dallas Cowboys offensive assistant coaches and a guy who's just been paying attention to Quinn Ewers since he's been in high school. And I want you guys to tell me if this quote just, I want to see if it just ex exudes confidence. Glenn Smith said, Quinn Ewers has an incredible ability to put the nose of the football in tight windows from different arm angles without having to set his feet. I can't speak about his football IQ or his ability to process information in Steve Sarkeesian's offense or how he relates to his teammates and all of that. But from a pure arm talent and ability to deliver the football standpoint, Ewers is special and can do a lot of things that Mahomes does in terms of getting the nose of the football into tight windows from different arm slots without having to set his feet. So pretty much what Glenn Smith is saying, which pretty much everybody who's been hyping up Quinn Ewers has been saying is, the kid could throw the ball and he could do a lot of stuff with just throwing the ball, but when it comes to actually like playing quarterback, He's kind of up in the air still. Being able to play quarterback at as high of a level that Texas does is more than just being able to throw the ball from different arm angles and just make flashy passes. You actually need to be able to break down defenses, understand what you're looking at, being able to process both pre-snap and post-snap defensive structures, being able to go through your progressions. It's not just being able to throw the ball 80 yards. I don't understand what's so hard to understand about that. Yes, Hudson Card might not be able to throw the ball 80 yards. He might not be able to throw the ball through his legs 75 yards, but he can understand and he makes the right reads. And he, it's not like he's got a bad arm either. I mean, Hudson Card was the number four quarterback in this class. And here are the three quarterbacks ahead of him. Bryce Young, CJ Stroud, and DJ Uyunglele. He was number four behind those three guys. And he's doing a phenomenal job of progressing in the three years that he has been at Texas. I want you guys to seriously go back and watch Texas spring game. Hudson Card, he's standing confidently in the pocket. He's stepping into his throws and he's driving through his throws. Even on the throws that he did miss, the areas that he was missing were great areas. He wasn't putting the ball in danger. Quinn Ewers, he just stands there and he, all he does is just all arm. Everything is all arm. His foot, uh, the, how Glenn Smith said, he could throw the ball from all type of arm angles without setting his feet. Okay, 
That's not supposed to be your default. Your default's supposed to be, I got my feet underneath me, and then when I need to, I can make that throw, that off schedule throw. That shouldn't be your default. Going back and looking at Texas spring game, Quinn Ewers was missing very simple throws simply because he doesn't set his feet. He's constantly trying to aim the ball with his arm, which leads to inconsistency, leads to interceptions on very, very easy passes. And every now and again, when he really just lets, gets to let the ball go, that's when it's like, oh, but you see, you can throw the ball 60 yards and hit a pose down the field. Yeah, that, that's easy. Anybody can do that. Can you make can you make that 30 yard in route in between like beneath the safety but above the linebacker? Can you make that throw? Can you make the, the timing throw where the 10 yard stop is throwing it with anticipation? I don't think Quinn Ewers can do that. If it's not a wide open throw, every now and again he might be able to fit the ball into a tight window. But nine times out of 10, when he tries to fit that ball into that tight window, it's gonna lead to a pick or a pass breakup. I'm just gonna come out and say it, the Quinn Ewers hype train, at least for this year, going into, I'm not gonna just completely write the kid off, but at least for this year, it is not real. He is not as good of a quarterback as everybody is painting him out to be. And with all the pressure that he has to be the face of Texas football, to bring them from the five and seven season that they had last year, to bringing them to supposed to be national championship contention. I mean, he's already got Heisman hype around him. He hasn't even taken a full start yet at any level in college football. He has all this pressure. He knows that he really shouldn't be the starting quarterback. Everybody knows that he shouldn't be the starter. The only reason that he's a starting quarterback is because he has so much hype. He has so much NIL money behind him. He's got, he's supposed to be the, he was supposed to step in and hands down win the Texas job. And when he didn't do that, now he's got to constantly be looking over his shoulder because he knows that Hudson Card is right there. And if he gets the chance to start, I don't think Hudson Card is going to let it go. I would not be surprised if at some point during the season, Hudson Card ends up taking over the starting job for Quinn Ewers. I mean, please don't forget that Quinn Ewers reclassified. He's technically going into his true freshman year age-wise. Texas fans, I'm sorry to say it. I'm going to stand on this. Quinn Ewers is not the guy, at least for this year, but he is just simply not the guy. Hudson Card is going to give you your best chance of winning multiple games this year. With Quinn Ewers, I see him throwing a lot of picks. As soon as he starts throwing picks, it's going to go downhill from there. And if Hudson Card steps in and that messes with Quinn Ewers' confidence, it could get ugly really quickly. Comment down below what do you guys think about this. I'm pers I was never really big on the Quinn Ewers hype train. Everybody, again, everybody has lost. Ever since Patrick Mahomes became Patrick Mahomes, everybody has lost their mind when it comes to quarterback evaluations. People act like if a kid could throw the ball 80 yards, we could turn him into Patrick Mahomes. No, you cannot. You simply cannot. Go out there, go find the quarterback who knows how to break down defenses, can make the on time, just simple throws. And if you could go out there and you can go find your project quarterback and you could turn him into something, cool. Stop trying to reinvent the wheel. Go get the quarterback that's going to give you the best chance of getting first downs, not the quarterback who's going to have to give you the best chance of throwing the 80 yard bomb every single play. But at the end of the day, with how much NIL money is behind him and with how much hype is behind him, all my Texas fans, yeah, and Quinn, and Quinn, y'all trust. Y'all, hey. All I say is that if he starts messing up, don't immediately put him to the fire because y'all were the ones that hyped him up. With that being said, leave this video a like, hit that subscribe button. We're on the road to 300,000 subscribers. Love and appreciate all y'all. I will catch you guys in the next video. Ciao.